Hey, my friend, it's time for the 11 pounds of November polished rocks. That's a crazy looking bahia right there. <laughs> These are some cut up pieces of crazy lace. Not the best. They didn't turn out the best, but I mean, sometimes you cut them, they got patterns, sometimes they don't. But we'll take a look at them. Uh, stud and dud contestant right there. A couple of, couple of little pieces of um, amethyst. Some pet wood, a really cool piece of pet wood. A uh, piece of agate. Uh, another, another, some type of calcedony agate and um, one of the lavender uh, rocks from the adventure closet. A couple pieces of Montana. Some ocean jasper, supposedly. <laughs> couple of Botswanis. Some adventure closet geos and a bunch of regular rocks I use for fillers and stuff. A couple of unknown agates, a little red tiger's eye. My light, my purple rock I found out on the river. And well, that's about it. Um, we'll take a better look at a few of them. Got a cut piece of Bahia agate. Nice water lines on it. This is the one here. This was one of the ugly boys, but it was too thin to cut. I wanted to cut it, but that was just too thin. They couldn't have done nothing with it, I don't think. But, man, this thing is crazy. It's got pattern everywhere. Almost looks like a Crowley, but it's not. It's definitely about here. But a Crowley, there are Crowleys that look exactly like that. That is cool. I got a friend I know that wants this one. I'm going to send it to him. Got a couple of Botswanis. This one here is just so light. It's got pattern in it, but it's just so light you can't really tell. You can't really see it. And this is one off of where to cut that rock. And um, we had that side opened up, but the back side had nothing on it, really. So I cut it open. I think it made it look pretty good. Even got this. This one looks pretty good. But this one looks really good. Got that pattern on that side. And that pattern on that side, yeah. I think that um, looks pretty good. These are some of the Adventure Closet Thunder Eggs. There's some stuff in there that didn't polish that great, but it looks still looks pretty good. This one here came out nice. Total polish on that one. I like this one. It's a little plain, but it's pretty cool. This one, too, I like it. It's got some floating moss in it. You can see deep into that rock, but that, that, that's cool. And got some ocean jasper here. Not the best quality one, but I had bought this from a guy on eBay a long time ago, and um, he had a picture of um, the, the pieces with all yellows and pinks and greens and oranges and all different colors and I get the box in it's a box of nothing but green so I filed a, a charge against him and uh, he wound up sending me another he said I'll send you another box of um, some better one and he sent me another box and it's all the same pretty much the same green again but at least I got I got two pounds for one pound so and I found that I had I'd done a few already out of here that was a little better quality than these but it's not bad but just not not what was pictured. It's got light, light orbs and small orbs on it, but it's got a few things on it. But nothing, like I said, nothing like what's in the pictures. But I, don't, I even wound up making a cab. I think this one here looks pretty much like a perfect little cab. By accident, of course, but I mean it looks good. It's a little river conglomerate. It comes out pretty nice. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's made of a bunch of little bitty clear rocks. This is a little agate I found out on the river. It's not a Crowley, but it's some type of agate, but a nice little druzy pocket in there. Pretty cool. Yeah, I have a bunch of quartz, jelly beans, jaspers, 
Bandit Church. Man, I'll take a good shine. This was a jazz ball for where to cut that rock. And I thought it might have some color on the inside. I cut it open and not much. I mean, it's not bad, but could have had a better mix of colors in there. I got this chunk of Montana. It's not not clear. It's a little milky and everything, but um, I just wanted to do a couple of them. It, it comes out nice. Montana's polished really good. Not bad. But the next one is a little better. I'm not going to lie. But I like that pattern. This one's a little better. I definitely like this one. I like that. All the dendrites in there. And that's pretty cool. Always has fractures, but that's typical of Montana's. Nothing you can do about that, but every now and then you get one that looks like that. That's pretty cool. I like it. Got another contestant off of where to cut that rock. Um, thought it might have that red running through the, well, through the whole thing. So we took a shot on it, cut it open. And no, no red, but not horrible. Those will sell in the dollar box. And this little agate, all oh, kind of scout suddenly piece, I guess it is, but it really doesn't have much agate in it, but... Um, I think that was on the start of Dud. We cut that open and see if we could find some pattern in it. And we didn't really. It's a, not horrible, but again, got to take a shot at them sometime. And this was a piece of lavender agate sent by uh, an adventure closet. To, sent, sent to me by the adventure closet. Got some cool little dendrites in there. And it's got a nice juicy pocket. Liz mustn't have seen that because she probably kept it for herself. And you got a little bit of agate line. You got some lines in there. You barely can see them. And the lavender's not great, but it's it, it's it's pretty good. It's a light lavender. So you can see it better on, on off camera. But that juicy pocket is a killer. And this was the only real purple rock I've ever found out on the river. It's... Definitely, pur it's a lot purpler in here than it looks, but it was on stutter dud, and then we cut it open to try and find some more back here, but it really didn't find it. But I finally got it polished, and it's not bad. But it's definitely got some purple in it. And I found that out on the Boca Chitter. And this little rock here, I don't know where I got it from or what it is, if it's uh, pet wood or bandit church, but man, this thing is cool. And it got better and better as I polished it. It just kept getting more and more patterns coming out on it. And um, like I said, I don't know what it is, but it is cool. And it took a good shine. And I got a couple pieces of red tiger's eye. One of them's got a little pitting on it, but nothing you can do about that. And that stuff is good looking. All right, this one here, I'm not sure where, I forgot where I got it from, but it shined up like glass, and it's got a nice little pattern through it. I didn't want to take that off, because I would lose a lot of this here, so I just left it on there, but it's really cool. I'm not sure, I know it's from the Pacific Northwest somewhere, I think, but I'm not sure who sent it to me, but I'm glad they did, because I got another piece, I cut it in half, I got another piece somewhere, I know I did already, I think. That is cool. I like it. All right, got some pet wood. I think this one, oh, agatized wood. I think this is the Pacific Northwest one, too. I had cut that little piece off and it made it all the way through piles. Didn't break it. I was looking, I was cleaning. I, I dropped it and broke it. <laughs> but this is the piece we look, we wanted anyway, so that is nice. Couple pieces of agatized wood. These were um, covered in white. I took most of the white off of this one, but I left a little bit on there. But that's cool. I like it.
And that one there just got a killer pattern on it. Hold on, those are cool. And I got a couple of nice chunks of amethyst. It does have cracks in it, but there's nothing you can do about it unless you want to polish it down to a marble size. But it has some hematite on it, but I kind of polish that off. I like this piece. This came out nice. This is an odd piece. It looks like it has a band of rhyolite that runs through it. I'm not positive if that's rhyolite or not, but it looks like it. But it also does something else. I don't know if I'm better good to, to show y'all, but it has a rainbow in it. I guess we're not. No. See, it's right there. And if Liz saw that, I probably would meet the shovel for this piece right here. But that's definitely got some rainbow in it. That's cool. And this is a nice piece. Has a little bit of that rainbow look to it too. Got this last piece. This is from um, some of the stuff I got from Clinton Nagel. This is a piece of Arizona pet wood. I mean, it's an absolute beauty. <laughs> I mean, this thing is nice. Definitely my favorite one of the thing of the show. It's even got agate at the bottom. I don't know what that is exactly, but it's some kind of agate. But this thing is a beauty. I mean, it's like glass too. It is polished nice. Definitely one of my new favorite pieces of pet wood. Thank y'all for watching. All right, these are some crazy lace pieces that I had cut up and tried to find some pattern. This one here, I really didn't find much pattern on it, but it's pretty cool looking. It's just different. It got a little pattern at the top. This one here, nothing really. This one, same way. And you got to take a shot of them. You don't know till you polish them, and it could change at every stage. So I just left them in there. These three, same way. Um, this one, I have much pattern on but I really like it. That, I mean, it's, it's cool looking. And then these here, no pattern really. That one's got a little bit on it. But this one got a lot of color, no real pattern, but it does have a little Petrardo pocket in there. And this one has a little color. I mean, a little pattern. This one came out a little better. Real nice pattern on this one. I like that one. This one's not bad. It's got a lot of light pattern on it, but better than the other ones. It's got that black band pattern on it, but it's not bad. I like this one. Yeah, definitely worth the cut on that one. And this one here has a lot of color on it. Not as much banding, but it's got enough banding on it. And a lot of color. Yeah, that's nice. This one's probably got the most color on it, but not enough pattern on it, though. I like that look in there, even though it's not a pattern. I like the back of it. Um, hmm. Okay. Oh my God, this is a new one from Texas. The guy from Texas sent me. And this one on the cut just a little bit. Not too bad. Yeah, this is the new stuff from Texas. It, it's not good. 
that it's that decent pattern, but just that undercut and kills it. But this is another one, but it, it, this one came out nice. The top is really nice. Sides look good. They got a lot of host rock on them. And the undercutting a little bit, not too bad on this one. But this ain't a bad looking one. But I'm not buying no more of it though. That's enough. <laughs> this is the top looks cool. I like that. <laughs>